So this here is a Nauplius larvae. It's gonna develop into a shrimp maybe or into a crab, I don't know. But what I do know is, is that the plankton life uh, in the Mediterranean Sea is really interesting uh, to look at. Here um, I'm collecting some plankton in a plankton net. The water was pretty cold, 13 degrees centigrade, but I was quite successful. I was able to pull out uh, quite a bit of plankton. Um, and I put it, of course, under the microscope. Which microscope? Well, I took a microscope along um, and here it is in my hotel room I spent in uh, approximately one week in Croatia at the end of April that's me of course looking through the microscope and I was able to capture a few beautiful images of some uh, of marine microorganisms this for example is a dinoflagellate it's a protist uh, looks uh, pretty interesting <laughs> yeah indeed and it makes uh, up a large percentage of the marine plankton but that's not the only one that I found I found also some some other very unusual um, specimens and at the end of the video I would like uh, to show one of them to you I have absolutely no idea what it is uh, maybe you're able to help out here this here um, on the left side does look like a microscopic snail and again uh, a dinoflagellate here um, movement uh, is uh, quite uh, notable um, under the microscope slide so many of the plankton creatures here they like uh, to move around and uh, yeah some of them are even able to move so quickly that they can be very difficult uh, um, to trace and uh, to follow. Um, I also found uh, um, some uh, snails, not only snails, but also some uh, bivalvia. These are some seashells, uh, like over here, some, uh, yeah, and uh, some clams, rather. Um, and uh, it's not a worm, <laughs> but uh, they are also moving along the microscope slide, uh, looking out for some food um, and, uh, yeah, kind of uh, living um, into the day a little bit. You might have already noticed that that the video here does not look uh, quite as colorful as the other videos that I usually make and this is because um, I uh, do not have the fancy um, optics that uh, my microscope at home has um, but still the microscope uh, was sufficiently portable so I'm quite happy that it was at least able to uh, take a couple of videos here under the microscope in my hotel room yeah this one of course is a copy pod um, yeah some yeah uh, and there are plenty of other um, yeah, marine water fleas. Huge antenna, by the way. Yeah? It's uh, quite 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 interesting uh, to look at. Um, now, another thing that I would like to say is, is that um, uh, those water samples I was not able to take home or I did not want to take them home uh, because those plankton um, uh, animals are not able to survive for a very long time. And this is also one of the reasons why I decided to take a microscope along um, on this week-long marine biology excursion. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, the one over here on the left side, that seems to be um, also a microscopic uh, uh, jellyfish here. You can see the tentacles and then again our little friend, uh, uh, the clam. And uh, what I would like to do now um, at the very end is I want to show you now one of these strange creatures that I found as well. Uh, I have no idea what it is, but maybe some of you are able um, uh, to help out here. Maybe you have an idea what it could be. In any case, beautiful nature we can see here. Um, yeah, the water was still fairly cold, uh, but uh, I think it was quite a successful uh, stay in Croatia. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time and bye-bye.